What's up guys, this is Brian from Pixelated Points and today we're here at PAX East in Boston 2018 and I am here with Sam from Rising Star Games and we are talking about Trailblazers. Now, for those of us at home that don't know what Trailblazers are, give us a little bit about it. Yep, no worries. So Trailblazers is essentially a 3v3 team racing game. And I know what you're thinking, there's other team racing games out there but this has been built up from the ground to be like a full team experience. Okay. So you race around the track, you paint it your team's color, everyone on your team can automatically boost on that color, but the enemy team can also paint over it. And so you get your points based on where you place in the race, but also how good you are at building combos of painting and boosting. And you can be sabotaged by the other team, and you can also lose your points if you're not a clean racer, let's yeah. say. I, I learned that very quickly on Friday while I was uh, playing the game. So. Right off the bat, everyone's probably saying, oh, this is F-Zero meets Splatoon. Yes. Which is a very apt description, but there's so much more to that. You were saying you gather points by doing different types of things, and it's not just painting and uh, driving well. It has other, like, when you're boosting and stuff like that. Can you tell us the different types of ways to gather points? Okay, so on the end score screen, and I should mention you lose and win as a team. Yeah. So all of the members of the team, their points get added together. Uh, so there's no kind of rush for the finish line and forget everyone else, you've still got to work as a team. And so the first chunk of your points will be based on where you place in the race. So that does still account for something. But then next it will be uh, your painting, which is how much you successfully managed to get on the track. And then also your boosting, which is how far you managed to boost and not crash, basically, or be uh, hit by one of the enemy team's projectiles. When I was playing, you could. There's the option to paint behind you, but then there's option to kind of paint in forward, uh, in front of you. Now I need a little pro tip. I need insider okay, trick. Okay. If we, I think, if we shoot forward, we're getting boost, right? Yes, but using X is a more efficient way of using the paint because you can get further distance. And of course, yeah, you might not benefit from it instantly, but your teammates can benefit from it. And when you come around for lap two, lap three, lap four you're going to have that paint as well, because the paint stays, it's persistent throughout the whole race. So, uh, yeah. Also, um, I think I noticed, so you said X was to kind of paint behind you. That's a slower burn, as where if you press triangle, yeah. um, it kind of shoots it straight ahead, and if you don't aim it properly, it can kind of go off track, right? That's right, yeah, so it'll always be in a straight line, so you want to save it for those uh, little bursts, but also you want to use that to spin out the enemy team. So if you manage to hit them with that, they'll spin out and that will also break their current combo score. So it's a good way to uh, dismantle teams who like to just hang back and paint their way, like take it slow. Yep. If you get up behind them and just kind of keep shooting them out, that's a good way to uh, counter that. Perfect, perfect. Now, uh, do you guys have a release date in mind? We're looking at May, so real soon. Wow, yeah. that's per That's real soon. That was like a month away. That's awesome. Uh, and what platforms are you guys coming out on? So coming out on all major platforms, that's PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and Steam. And Steam's going to cover Windows, Mac, Linux. So there's no excuse not to get it. There's zero excuse to not get this game. Thank you so much for all your time today, Sam. No problem. Thank you very much.